What's up, guys? Thanks for tuning in to this new video on Elvis is the Man. So, 1972. This was a year filled with highs and lows. It was a life-changing year for Elvis. It was a very successful year for Elvis. Elvis ended one relationship with Priscilla, a long relationship, and then a few months later started another long relationship with one of the best women that could have been in his life. He returned to the charts with a number two single, Burning Love, one that is just a gem in his catalog. He had gold records with his Madison Square Garden appearance. It sold out four shows to set a record. They had to add more shows because of the demand for tickets. Elvis was center stage again. Many, many famous people like George Harrison, John Lennon, David Bowie, Art Garfunkel went to the Madison Square Garden shows to see Elvis. He was like a prince from another planet, one reporter said. Like I said, also, he met and fell in love with Linda Thompson in July of that year. He announced his Aloha from Hawaii satellite show in September that was going to be beamed live in January. So this was a big year for Elvis, highs and lows. So this CD right here, this concert recording right here, a soundboard, of the January 26, 1972 opening show in Vegas was before anything happened, before I knew anything was going to happen. Elvis had a little break from his November 1971 tour, which was fantastic. I made videos on that. You should check them out. It was at this engagement that Priscilla left him. I mean, their marriage was on the rocks. Elvis was with Joyce Bova a lot in 1971. She kind of faded off into the distance because of Elvis's drug use that she couldn't handle. Even though Elvis was ready for the marriage with Priscilla to be over, emotionally, mentally, that was a big change for him. This concert here is before that change, before all these changes. Elvis was energetic. He had six new songs in this show. And this is the show I want to showcase here, opening night. Must be near, feel so good. Squirrel, duck, anything. <laughs> Rabbit. <laughs> Rabbit. That's where I was going to go that. You ain't no friend of mine. <laughs>
away Dixieland Guys, another thing I want to mention, if you haven't noticed already, the audio quality of this concert is very, very great. Now, it's not like a professional, um, something that was uh, recorded for a mainstream release. It was a soundboard. But the sound there in the hotel was very interesting. It was like sort of an echo. And a lot of these songs, like he always does when he performs them for the first time live, are a lot slower uh, he doesn't rush through anything. Sometimes when they get a little faster, they get better, like uh, Proud Mary, in my opinion, or um, Walk a Mile in My Shoes. But when you listen to this recording, the echo in it makes it just that much more interesting. And the orchestra plays it a little differently than what we're used to hearing. So I hope you check out the full concert in the description. Thanks for watching, guys. If you stuck around this long, you are a true fan. Um, in the description of this video is the links to my other page, like my Bible page, my fitness page uh, on Patreon, which you'll find some very interesting things there as well. Make sure you hit the like button. It helps to grow and expand the channel. Make sure you watch that Elvis movie more and more. I've seen it three times. I'm going to watch it a fourth. We'll talk to you guys next time. Hey, whatever at this point comes to mind, where, where were you at the time? Can you remember where you were, what you were singing? That <laughs> Well, it's an old suit, and it had, uh, <clears throat> it's got pleats in it, so it had to be like 55 or 56. And the guy in the background is my uh, first drummer, DJ Fontana. So, so those were the early days when you were doing the, the road tours and you were yeah. driving? What were the appearances like then? What were the crowds like? Oh, they were good. Yeah, they, were, they were really good. They just... Well, uh, uh, that, that's the same guitar that I use now. Same one. Uh, had the same guitar all, all these years? Mm -hmm. I'm kidding. Yeah. I remember another one that said Elvis Presley on it. It's kind of inlaid. Yeah, well, I have two, you know. I, yeah. I was in a nightclub one night, and uh, this big fight broke out in this club. <laughs> and I had two guitars. I always keep one on the side in case I break the strings. And I remember thinking, I hope that nothing happens to that guitar. It's brand new. I heard a crunch, and this guy had stepped in it. <laughs> had it hanging on his foot, man. So...